So today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day tutorial and it's also going to be for my project palette. So some of you may know that I'm doing a project pan on The Naked by Urban Decay this year. And the first month of January, I just used this palette exclusively. And now every month I'm going to be adding in a separate palette to be a companion to this, just to mix it up, add some color and variety and stuff like that. So the palette I chose is something I did get fairly recently, but I still am loving, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So instead of doing a separate video to introduce the palette and to do a tutorial, I've combined it all in one today. So this is the palette I'm going to be using for today's look, for this Valentine's inspired look. This is what I am going to be wearing on Valentine's Day. I wanted something very girly, something very pink, something very fun. I did go a little crazy with the glitter, so if you don't like glitter, you can exclude that part. But I really had a lot of fun doing this and I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out there before I begin that anytime you use glitter that's loose on your eyes, there's always going to be a risk. If you do not feel comfortable using glitter on your eyes, even if it's cosmetic grade glitter, heavens, please don't use non-cosmetic glitter on your eyes. But if you don't feel comfortable with doing that, then please don't. I know that there's always going to be a risk involved. When I take this glitter off at night, I am very careful to absorb the glitter and put a pad on it and let it sit. And then I try to wipe it all away in one sweep and I do not open my eye until all the glitter is cleared. That's the best way I found to remove it safely. So with that being said, we'll just hop right into it. All right, I have my foundation ready to go and I'm gonna start out with this light orange color, which is called Burnt Orange, and I'm using a large fluffy brush. Then I'm going to go into the shade Juan Fresco and use a slightly smaller brush. That way the orange still shows at the very top and go a little bit below that and start working that into the crease. This is gonna give me a nice gradient effect. And I really like the look of the contrast with the pinky purple versus the orange. It's just kind of a little fun and it gives it a little pop. Next I'm taking an even smaller brush. This is a pointed brush from my Sedona Lace Vortex set. And this is great for getting really in there, especially when you have hooded eyes. And I'm going into the shade called Love Letter and really working that into the crease. And again, taking this lower than the other shades so I don't just blend everything away or cover up those other shades, but just add to the depth in the very crease. Depending on how hooded your eyes are, you can make your crease higher if you feel like you can get away with that fake crease look for your cut crease. But this is where I feel comfortable with it. And to start cutting the crease out, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Concealer and just putting that on my lid. This will give me a good guideline of where I'm gonna put the glitter and just blank everything out. So next I'm taking the e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm putting that everywhere I put the concealer. Next I'm taking a glitter powder I got from Shop Miss A. This is from the Princessa line and I am patting that as carefully as I can onto my lid. I use a little bit of the Smashbox primer water to make the glitter stick to my brush and then I just keep patting it on. Then to make sure it sticks the trick is to apply a thin layer of the primer over it and let it set and this will make the glitter look a little milky at first but I promise this will help so much so that it doesn't transfer onto the hood of your eye but I do have to keep my eyes closed for a little while let it fully dry and then of course I brush off any fallout and that makes it so it stays so much better and if you've got hooded eyes you feel me if you don't have hooded eyes, you can also put this just on the lash line or actually apply it just in the crease. That way it'll give you the pop without being too overpowering. And then dry, 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 keep those eyes closed. Using Creep from Urban Decay Naked Palette, I'm going to line my eyes with a brush. I find this is easier when I've got glitter because I find that liquid liners tend to skip and I have a hard time getting them to apply and I'm skipping the wing, keeping it simple, then going under the lash line with a little black and a little bit of love letter just to smoke that out. Next, taking the shade Vermeer, I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm going to take the shade Tempura and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I always like to use a matte, especially where we've got so much glitter going on. Next with the Tardius Pro palette, I'm gonna take the shade Sculpt and Shade, and I'm going to use the cream contour first, and then I'm gonna apply some of the regular contour just on the sides of my face where I can use a little bit of shadowing. And then I'm gonna take the highlight shade, which is in Strobe, and I'm gonna just apply that to the tops of my cheeks with a fan brush. Next, with this e.l.f. cream aqua blush, 
I am going to apply this more to the apples of my cheeks. I just want that fresh peachy pink look, just kind of a nice pop. And then I'm taking this liquid lipstick from e.l.f. and I'm applying that to my lips just to keep it super natural and then applying some plumping gloss. I popped on some falsies from Wet n Wild I got from the dollar store and then finished with the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!